Hey, what's up? It's your boy, 24-7 here with 24-7 Fusion Media. Man, I saw this shit and I was like, what the fuck, man? This thing just came out of nowhere. Future State. The DC Universe is taking a giant leap into the future. DC Comics next event, Future State, launches in January. Look at this, man. Is that Green Lantern, what's it called? Far Sector or whatever, that's her. What's that? The Superman type or Wonder Woman type or Batman. Who's that supposed to be, like an Aquaman type chick? Batman looks like he has, like, what? What's this, a half cape? Superman has no cape. Black Wonder Woman, Black Green Lantern. All right. Okay. DC Comics will mark the beginning of 2021 with a bold move, hitting pause on the present day of the DC Universe to spend two months exploring a strange new future across a slate of dozens of one-shots miniseries and oversized anthology issues. We'll get a new Batman, a new Superman, a new Wonder Woman, and new, well, almost everyone. Shit sounds fucking whack already. The fuck, man? In Gotham, Bruce Wayne is dead, and an all-new, probably POC Batman uh, <laughs> steps up to save the city. It's probably what? Uh, what's his name? Lucius Fox. Yeah, that's uh, that's funny. In Metropolis, John Kent steps into the boots of Superman after his father's exile to space, and. In the Amazon rainforest, a new Wonder Woman is chosen by the gods. This potential future seems to have its beginnings in the yet unpublished finale of DC's current cosmos-shattering crossover event, Dark Knight's Death Metal, which will conclude on January 5th, 2021. Dark Knight, Death Metal, that's some other shit right there. The DC Universe has always been fertile ground for new and refreshing takes on our characters and dc future state definitely contributes to this legacy said mary javens dc executive editor i never heard of her in a press release when the event begins in january some savvy readers will not only pick up on some of the breadcrumbs that have been tossed around in our current titles but they will also find new hints and clues of what's to come in 2021. Hmm. But what if nobody even wants that shit? Then what? Man. I swear, you, DC, not for one moment can you, you just can't stop fucking over our, our, our favorite characters, huh? I'm getting sick of this shit, man. But what about DC's main line of books? They'll resume in March, resuming their usual storylines and introducing new ones. Likely a few that reference future state events. Some future state books even appear to spin directly out of current events in DC books. Aquaman, for example, to feature a teen version of Aquaman and Mirror's currently toddler daughter. Oh, please. Damn, man, you so ready just to fucking grow everybody up and, and to, so what does that do to far, what do, you know, like, what does that do to our, for our heroes? Is this like some kind of a future that's not promised or are you, you guys saying, Hey, this is what it's going to be. And then just for this shit to come out the blue and then you try, then you're trying to tie it into what's going on now in the comics. Future State's artist lineup, its future slate, you might say, is nothing to sneeze at either, including Mariko Tamaki, Brian Michael Bendis, Jean Loon Yang, Joel Jones, Joshua Williamson, Nicola Scott, and John Ridley. Okay, what's on the future slate of Future State? DC has organized the books into three sections, Batman, Superman, and the Justice League. Damn. Now, Batman, Superman, Wonder Woman, and the Justice League? 
In this future, Gotham City is controlled by the magistrate, DC Reads News release. This villainous regime has taken control of the city. Now under constant surveillance, all mass vigilantes have been outlawed and Batman has been killed. But led by an all new Batman, a new assembly of Gotham's guardians rise to give hope to all those who lost it. That sounds like shit. The Batman family line will include two four issue anthologies featuring John Ridley and Nick Darrington on Batman, Vita Ayala and Nikki on Bad Girls. Bad Girls. Mariko Tamaki and Dan Morrow on the Dark Detective story, among others. The line will also include monthly miniseries like Gene Lu Yang and Ben Oliver's Batman Superman, Stephanie Phillips and Simone DeMio's Harley Quinn and, and Andrew Constant and Nicolo and Nicola Scott's Nightwing, among others. That's right, Nicola Scott's Nightwing. Okay. Why the emphasis on that? Like, I'll fucking dig into that shit, man. Figure it out. Due to his involvement in an international crisis happening in the near future, Clark Kent has been rejected by Earth. DC's press release says of Superman causing him to focus his life-saving efforts outside his adopted home. He travels to War World to rise through the ranks of gladiatorial combat in order to defeat Mongol, with the help of some unlikely heroes. Back in Metropolis, Clark's son, John, taken on the mantle of Superman. After seeing the horrors that befell Gotham, he bottles Metropolis in order to keep it safe, putting him at odds with Supergirl. The Superman family line will also feature Shiloh Norman as the new Mr. Miracle, Yora Floor as the new Wonder Woman from the Amazon Rainforest. Its three anthology series will feature Becky Clunel and Michael W. Conrad, Midnighter, and Wonder Woman stories, L.L. McKinney, Aletha E. Martinez, and Mark Morales, Nubia. Oh, please. And more. Oh, my God. I don't want to see nothing about Nubia. All right? The fuck out of here. Monthly miniseries will include Margaret Bennett and Margaret Savage, Superwoman, starring Kara Zorrell, Brian Michael Bendis, and Riley Rosmos, Legion of Superheroes, Dan Waters, and Leela Del Ducas, Del Ducas, Superman Wonder Woman, Mark Russell, and Steve Puz. Superman versus Imperious Lex and Joelle Jones Wonder Woman. The fuck, man? All this bullshit. The third pillar of Future State is Justice League Family. A new league is built upon secret identities, even from each other, and includes the magic battling Justice League Dark, Swamp Thing Shazam, the Teen Titans, the Green Lanterns and a Suicide Squad all thrown together by Amanda Waller of Earth 3. Get the fuck out of here. That is the Earth where all the good guys are bad and the bad guys are good. What? And, uh, yeah, I know what Earth 3 is. Earth 3 is actually... <laughs> that's where like um ultraman and um power ring and superwoman and um you know those guys you know they're from um earth three where actually there was this like there's a planet of, of of villains and they only have one hero which is lex luther is actually the hero you know, he's bald headed with a red mustache and goatee, and he's and he's actually the hero of Earth Three. And everybody else are villains on the whole planet. 
So that's interesting how they put the twist on this shit. This is fucking crazy. Check out over two dozen covers from Future Slate's books coming in January and February of 2021 below. Oh my God, this looks so shitty. That's the Aquaman from, you know, what's that? The You Are the Ocean in the Palm of My Hands or whatever the fuck that YA book. And that's Mira Jr. All right. Well, that looks like that's... um. <laughs> that looks like that's about it. Look, I think this is a bunch of bullshit. I think this is actually what they turned that um that future event shit that uh Dan DeDio was gonna get into. You know, they just took that retcon did into this and this is what we get. Future state. The heroes look hollow. The whole story just it seems watered down. It just looks like, I mean, I hate to say it. It just looks like they're all out of ideas. And I mean, with them coming with that Dark Knight death metal shit, they should have just stayed with, with that. They should have stayed with that, finish, just, finish it off like they say they're going to they do at the beginning of January. And let things kind of get back to a norm instead of hitting everybody with this shit at the beginning of the year now we have another fucking now all the titles stop <clears throat> just to introduce this it's like damn crossover after crossover after crossover event man you starting to wear people out with that shit man give people a little time to breathe let the regular titles roll for a little bit I don't know. To me, it just seems like a cheap ass cash grab that they decided to fucking throw out there, at, you know, at the last minute. And it sucks. <sighs> These characters look cheap. Knockoff versions. It looks hollow. The premise looks hollow. And they're not even saying how far into the future there is. This is what, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. Is this, a, is this a, an else world? And nobody knows. It just seems shitty. And it just seems um, forced. But, man, y'all let me know what y'all think about this bullshit in the comment section below. If y'all like the idea, y'all like the art, you like the way some of these old crummy ass fucking heroes look. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that too. I me, mean, I'm not down with it. I'm, I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to look in to see what it's about. But I'm not enthusiastic about it at all. Um... But uh, yeah, if you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, this is your boy, 24-7 with 24-7 Fusion Media. And I'm out. Peace.